Welcome back to Fear 2. I ended the last episode attempting to kill two dudes with my fists. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out because I accidentally picked up some weapons and ended up having to bash them with those. But, since this game doesn't have any manual saves and instead relies on checkpoints, my checkpoint was from a little bit ago. So I get to do it again! Slow motion fisting! No, I picked up his weapon, damn it. Let's kick him. Yeah! Very well done, I see why they picked you. Who the hell are you? You can call me Snake Fist. Snake Fist? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> hey, I don't know who else is listening, and I'm not taking any chances. You people need to get out of there. I just love the way she says that. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's, it's just great. I just realized these dudes are really big. Like, they're beefy. Almost like they're wearing, like, polar gear or something. Let's see if I can remember how to play this game. Oh, he's still alive. Oh shit, I'm not. Okay, right, I'm playing on hard. Oh, that's cool, when you go to load a save game, it actually gives you the option to change the difficulty. That's actually really clever. I can't think of any game that's ever done that before. But that actually totally makes sense, because that's exactly where you'd, you know, come to the decision to change the difficulty. You know, you keep dying again and again, and you think, man, I want to change the difficulty, and then the option's right there. That's actually really cool. What in the hell is going on over there? What the fuck? Uh... <laughs> That's fucking disgusting! What in the hell happened to him? 
I know you can really hurt people by shooting them, because, you know, bullets tend to go through flesh and all that stuff, but bullets don't cause wounds that look like that. Ew. Stop. I'm just gonna leave. Jesus Christ. And they're certainly not throwing medkits at my face like they did like they did in the original game. Before there were just so many medkits everywhere, but this time I haven't found that many. And uh, I'm definitely having some serious problems quick aiming with this mouse acceleration because if I suddenly go to turn my mouse really fast to look at somebody, it accelerates and just goes all over the place. Like if I do one mm, what Did I just get one shot at By what? I didn't hear a grenade. Hey, you need to unlock this door. We're back to <laughs> Grenade out! I guess it was a grenade. A silent one. Also, I totally forgot I had slow-mo. I literally forgot I, I had slow-mo. Oh no, what happened again? Ready, what the hell? How I bullet wounds can't do that. I don't understand. It's so gross. Anyway, yeah, I forgot I had slow-mo, because the first part of the game didn't have it. I forgot it got enabled. Anyway, like I was going to say. So yeah, the problem with mouse acceleration is that if I do one one, uh, like, from one side of my mouse pad to the other, slowly, this is how far I can go. About, like, one and a half to two revolutions. But if I go really fast, I can do this. So if I gotta move my mouse really fast to aim at somebody, I end up just totally over overcompensating and going, ugh. I spin around and have no idea where I am. So it's really bad for aiming. So yeah, slow-mo. That'll help. I should remember that. What happened here? Somebody had explosive bloody diarrhea. Good thing they're already in a hospital, so I suppose they're probably fine. Uh, subject is not a harbinger, uh, not available, uh, okay. That's for, oh, that's for uh, Kira Stokes. She's not eligible. That's a good thing, I think. It's probably one of the only reasons she's actually alive. Hooray! You can come out. Actually, no, you probably shouldn't come out. You're a lot safer in there. Your movement. One of these gonna open? No. Advance, advance. It seems like, even if you're not moving and you're zoomed in, if you continue to fire, the accuracy of the SMG really goes down. That is really disgusting. Yeah, let's test this. Yeah, look at that. 
it's probably just a innate part of the SMG because SMGs are typically typically not very accurate. Just gotta wait until I find an assault rifle or something like that, or a repeater. Uh, no, penetrator. Good timing. I just narrowly avoided that scripted event. You know what? I actually might want to switch this to burst fire. I suppose that probably would make it more accurate. Eh, maybe not. That, that actually didn't seem any more accurate. Um... Nah, I, I don't want burst fire. Card. That's new. Sounds like there's screaming in the vents. Cool. Good sign. I even flip over cover. Also, if you shoot those dudes' tanks in the back, they explode. Kind of. Whoa! Run! Run! hearing people mentioning that they ruined the shotgun. Now I don't know if they're talking about Fear 2 or Fear 3, so I'm hoping it, they're not talking about Fear 2, because I'm really hoping the shotgun is not ruined, because it was such a good weapon in the original Fear. Strangely enough, it actually wasn't that good of a weapon in at least the second expansion pack, Fear Perseus Mandate. I actually ended up not using it very often. But for the original fear, it was so good. Alright, this is not the uh, range you want to use this at.
Okay, so it seems like the shotgun maybe is shorter range than it was before. Because that was not very effective, even to a guy that was like 10 feet away. The spread on... Yeah, actually, if you look at this... The spread on this, just from the crosshair alone, is way bigger than it was for the original shotgun. The original shotgun actually would shrink down relatively small. But this thing... Yeah, the spread on that is ridiculous. You need to be basically touching somebody if you want to guarantee that every shot is actually going to go into them. So that's for very close range. I don't know if I'm really going to want to get that close to people. So I kind of feel like I'm never going to use the shotgun. Dr. York, immediately seized, hormone supplements, okay. Ensure that all forms are completely filled out. That is fascinating reading. All about procedures and bureaucracy. I'm just gonna close the door. <laughs> Let's see if they actually come through. I could attempt my old tactic of waiting around a corner with a shotgun. See if they fall for it. Medkits full. You can only hold three medkits? Holy crap. That's a big change. Used to be able to hold ten. They're not coming, are they? Peekaboo. 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 Maybe he didn't actually see me before. Now you gonna come? Oh, shit. Maybe they will. Mm. Nah, they're smarter than that.
there's body armor back here somewhere. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so you can cook grenades. Nice. Archive file, archival file, project origin. Alma Wade, seven years old. This is actually kind of important. Since last October, subject has progressed from frequent nightmares to periodic hallucinations and debilitating, debilitating em, empathic episodes. Extremely sensitive to emotional fluctuations in those around her. Yes, I remember that, actually. I remember hearing about that, how she's highly sensitive to everybody around her. She's deteriorating m mentally. At the same time, she's demonstrating exponential increases in telesthetic po potency. Oh, this is just a bonus area, isn't it? It is. Chickpea. You must be part of Project Harbinger. Only way to explain why Aris G would have brought you here. Commander, we spotted him heading for the main entrance. Roger that. On my way. Don't let them escape. Samuels, finish up here. This sucker's not going anywhere. Was interesting. Saw a vision, tentacles came out of the ground and stuff, people disappeared and abandoned me, and well, I'm back to doing my usual thing. 
my usual mission, which is go play skill things. You really do have to literally almost be touching the enemy to kill them with the shotgun. They did ruin it. They ruined the shotgun. Monolith. What were you thinking? Why would I ever get that close to people? Why would I put myself in such danger to be within one foot of them to use the shotgun? Oh, men get back here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, before the before the shotgun filled a niche, right? When you're inside places like this, the shotgun was perfect. And then when you went when you went outside, something like an assault rifle was good or a sniper. But now it, as far as I can see, it doesn't seem to serve any purpose at all, really. The telesthetic attunement chamber is an integral part of the harbinger conversion process. By means of dio- Beckett, I can't find Erisi. She must have panicked and run off. Keep your eyes open for her. One really strange thing about this game is despite looking better and being newer, it actually loads faster than the original Fear did. I have no idea why. I don't know how that's possible. There should be more data to load, I would think, because, you know, textures are high resolution, and so on. But it actually loads a lot faster. Not that the original was ever slow, but it is faster. Ooh, look at that door go. I love the physics in this game. They're so wacky. Check out that noise. <laughs> Check out that gunfire. There. Grenade, no. This is not good. This is not good. I'm out of slow-mo juice. Oh. He wiped out the whole squad. No, I didn't. You're still alive. Demolition teams. Do not place or arm explosive. Oh. 
Did the body ever come back down? Whoa! Another one, jeez. Who pissed in your cereal? Uh... Is that normal? I don't think that's normal. Did he come back down? Didn't I shoot him here? Where's his body? Huh. Damn it, what are you still doing in that facility? They're about to blow the whole place to hell. Ah, thanks, Fist. I was wondering when we'd hear from you again. Why are you helping us? Because I'm convinced that if Sergeant Beckett dies, Everybody dies. It all has to do with Project Harbinger. I'll, I'll explain later. Just haul ass. Escape before it's destroyed. Beers, check in. What's going on? Crispy critters. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to escape. Oh, damn it, I'm on fire again. Incendiary grenade. Nice. Let's see how this thing behaves. Okay, just catch stuff on fire, so I could use that as like a choke point. That did not go very good. 
I tried to shoot the grenade out of the air, but either my accuracy was just too low, or maybe you can't blow them up in the air anymore. It's an IM transcript with Snake Fist in the conversation. Um, bitch, 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 bitch. That's a good way to end the conversation. You. What the hell was that? Oh, I guess he got dragged away by something. Hmm. <laughs> His head's in the washer. <laughs> Can never get the stains out of that out of that thing. It's like cashmere. those noises coming from? They sound like they're in the walls. Oh, cool! Monsters. I like monsters. Ooh, what's that? Info? Operational guidelines. Oh, when disposing of personnel, use the untraceable equipment that has been provided to you. Well... They're preparing for shady operations. Literal and figurative operations. Any personnel neutralized by non-standard methods, for example, strangulation. Oh my god. Someone's been busy.
that looked painful. I don't think legs are supposed to bend that way. I suppose the fact that I was shooting him while he was dying by being pulled through a very small little area probably didn't help his pain levels. Well, if these monsters are melee as they appear, then the shotgun might be very good for them. I hope it is, because it's certainly not very good for people with guns. Oh, I can't fit. Are these X's here to, like, direct me to where I'm supposed to go? Beckett, I just saw Aristide get into an elevator. I'm gonna try to catch up to her. Just focus on getting out of here. We can link up outside. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good spot to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.